Good morning, everyone. Welcome. I hope you have a great morning today, a great day, a healthy day, and that the stock market treats you well. So pre-market briefing, September 30th today, futures, headlines, initial public offerings, SPACs, and uh, uh, analyst ratings is what we're going to focus on. So let's get started. All right, so let's look at the, the stock futures for the U.S. and a few uh, news for the global market. So pre-markets, U.S. stock futures, Dow futures are up 256 points as I'm doing the video right now. S&P 500 futures up 33 and NASDAQ futures up 120. That's a positive sign. Things look good. Obviously, futures will change as, as uh, we get near it for the market to open. But so far, things look really good. Now, pre-market movers, we have HCA Healthcare Incorporation, which is up 3% to $259. M&T Bank Corp is up 2.29% to $156. And Borg Borgner Incorporation is up 1.7% to $44.99. McCormick & Company up 1.57% to $85. Jacobs Engineering Group up 1.50% to $138. Biggest loser so far is Anthem Corporation, ANTM is the ticket symbol, $379 is the price of the share price is down 2.42%. As we look in the world markets, the Nikkei Japan is down 0.31%. The SE Composite China is up 0.90%. Hang Seng is down, uh, from Hong Kong is down 0.50%. England, FTSE 100 is up 0.64%. DAX Germany up 0.43%. And France is up 0.76%. The oil has been steady for the past four or five days at around 70. Well, the Brent crude oil is at 78. WTI crude oil is at 75. Natural gas, again, going up 1.77%. I'm going to have a video coming out later today that has to do, it's very, very good video, very uh, great content. It has to do with natural gas the natural gas prices, the natural gas crisis, Russia's natural gas games, and what the U.S. can do about it. So this is a very cool video. I think that uh, if you're interested, and uh, you should watch it, and you'll have a great idea of what's going to happen with natural gas. All right, from the Financial Times, Jay Powell faces rockier path to second Fed term after rough week. Uh, there's some politicians who are saying that he should not be nominated again and that his uh, policies have hurt the U.S. economy. Joe Biden locked in precarious talks to save landmark legislation. White House scrambles to rescue centerpiece of U.S. president's domestic agenda. The U.S. debt ceiling needs to be raised. Yes, it needs to. Obviously, we have no other choice since they can't come up with another solution, unfortunately. Fresh, da fresh data highlight two speed nature of global recovery. Democrats seek to avoid shutdown while they scramble on the debt ceiling. And productivity growth is almost everything in post-COVID recovery. Wall Street Journal. Powell says supply chain bottlenecks could lead to somewhat longer interval of high inflation. Congratulations. Infrastructure bill in peril as Democrats strain uh, to unite party. The U.S. economy is expected to pick up speed after Delta-driven downturn. That's that's a good sign. Some good. That's some good news. Finally, uh, poor log jams research Savannah as uh, container ships idle off coast. Yeah. Uh, so we have container ships being uh, stranded in uh, off uh, in ports, especially in China and so on. Um, expect container ship stocks to continue to go higher. The New York Times: Asia once a vacation Lagarde is reviving up uh, inoculations. China plans closed loop bubble for Winter Olympic. From the Bloomberg, uh, Congress to avert shutdown as negotiations continue on Biden agenda. So Schumer says deal has been made to avoid government shutdown. That's perfect. That's awesome news. Biden rushes to rescue agenda as Democrats uh, splinter on coast. And Biden gets chance to lobby for agenda as lawmakers play baseball. Some other news, the tax idea that's scaring ETF investors. So this is something that has that's going to be included in uh, Biden's um, infrastructure bill. They're going to have also taxing for exchange traded funds, some new tax ideas they're proposing to do also for cryptos and so on. So it's got something that um, needs to 
be uh, addressed or uh, from us, the investor side, to read into it and see what's going on if you're investing into ETFs. IPOs and SPACs. Today's IPOs. We have some IPOs going public today. Uh, we have Artemis Strategic Investment Corp., which is a blank check company, A-R-T-E-U. We have Olaplex Holdings. We covered this as an, a pre-IPO valuation analysis, OLPX. I did a video on it. And uh, Home Plate Acquisition Corp., that's another blank check company. Also, some other IPO news. Japan's Rakuten Group to start preparing for bank unit IPO. Hair care products maker Olaplex prices are uh, upsized IPO up, above range at $21. So Olaplex is going public at 21. Also, SPAC, SPAC King Pali Pahidia, who once warned against selling Tesla stock, has a has exited position in Tesla. So he's done with uh, his position in Tesla. Phillips Edison prices $350 million of senior notes offering. IPOs slowed down globally in Q3 after frantic 2021 start. Pali Pahidia says SPAC slowed down separated wheat from uh, the shaft. And Advance Op Olaplex is set to price at 21. Analyst ratings. So let's look at the latest analyst ratings. Raymond James maintains strong buy on Jabil. JBL is the ticket symbol. We talked about this company on my bull market watch channel on Patreon. It's a really good company. When we did talk about it before, it was somewhere in about, I think it was up 51. Now it's at 66. And it's getting an upgrade to 70. SVB Living maintains market perform on Amicus Therapeutics, lowers the price target to $12 from $13. FOLD is the ticker symbol. And KeyBank maintains overweight on Continental Resources, raises price target to $50. Also, KeyBank maintains overweight on Conical Phillips, raises the price target to $72 from $69. Not surprising at all since the oil uh, prices are going up. Latest FDA approvals. Angel PLC announces interim results. This is a company whose uh, ticker symbol is ANPCF. So interim results for the six months and the June 30th, 2021 FDA review progressing with response anticipating the second half. All right, so this is a company that's uh, given something, uh, given uh, handed over information to the FDA for their, for their, so by the end of the year, the FDA will make an appro uh, a decision on this. And if positive, obviously ticker symbol ANPCF will go high. FDA takes note of higher risk for women with stroke preventing implants. So that's your pre-market briefing for September 30, 2021. Thank you very much for watching. Like I said, I hope you have a good trading day, a good day overall. Take care.